All right, uh, back on Mr. Lugwell here and uh, the captain, and uh, just gonna... there isn't a lot to do. It's just it's just the, the fine detailing and uh, correcting mistakes. I think I've got all the mistakes uh, pretty well uh, taken care of. I'm going to work on the uh, wrinkle here uh, where the arm bends. I've got uh, a photograph that I took of a, a gentleman, and that's pretty much what it looks like, but I think I'm going to soften it just a little bit because it looks too harsh right there. So that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get to it. Okay, again, I'm going to probably just turn off the uh, camera now because it's just detailing. Um, if something major comes up, uh, I'll turn it back on. Uh, but uh, I just, you know, it's just a matter of me just doing this mind grinding, soul killing, <laughs> and detail work that just takes time. And I'd much rather do this without thinking about camera angles or whether you got to, can see me or if I'm in the way of the lens or, you know, I just need to concentrate on this last little leg of this marathon that I've been on with this piece. So, I'm going to turn off the camera now. All right, I'm, I'm done with the upper part. Um, I went and bought... Uh, See where I do with it. A uh, brush, and this is an oil brush. And uh, the reason I went a little more expensive is because the last thing I want is a bunch of little hairs being shed onto the uh, clay as I'm putting lighter fluid on it. And I got a bigger brush because uh, I need to have uh, cover more uh, space. I don't want to spend 20 hours uh, doing a little bit here and there. I want to get the whole. Thing. I'm going to start uh, working on the uh, lower half of the uh, gentleman. I'm going to finish up this uh, uh, 
waistcoat, and it was made out of a canvas type material on the outside, and uh, the inside's pretty well lined, and it's got some thickness to it. It's uh, really, a, uh, really a nice uh, uh, vest, and it ties. It ties in the back so that it could fit a wide guy or a thin guy. That would be good for me. And uh, so I'm just going to start working on uh, the waistcoat. Uh, I'm going to take a measurement of uh, the coat. Uh, it comes down here and then shoots over to the uh, right on that side. And the same thing on the other side except opposite direction, which I've got here. Now, I need to do the pocket. So, I'm going to measure... Uh, if I can find my caliper. I'm going to measure between the edge of the, the uh, vest to the beginning of the pocket at distance on uh, the clay here. And then I just divide that by two because that will make it uh, uh, to scale, which is half life size. All right, I put the uh, I put the uh, butane lighter fluid into a little container so I can use it like a paint pot. And now I'm just going to go over this with the brush. And what this does is takes down the roughness, gets rid of the little granules of uh, loose clay that develop as you sculpt.
All right, this is going to be it for today. Um, it's going to take overnight for this to completely evaporate so I can work on those areas that still need to be worked on. But at least this gets a, a great deal of this covered in just a couple of minutes. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>